Good. Here's your. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, I have a feeling most people in the room know about the, uh, the conflict we have over the impending sale of Plum Island, but I am not going to um, assume that everybody knows. I'm going to give you a real quick background on what's going on and then uh, what we, what's been happening over the last year and pretty much where we are today. Uh, if you were here last year, you saw the movie about Plum Island and you saw a more extensive presentation. Um, and you probably have seen our display out front. But Plum Island is off the east, east end of uh, the North Fork. I didn't realize there was a cursor in action at the moment. Uh, is there a way to get the cursor not acting? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Thank you. And. Um, so there it is, a mile and uh, about a third off the uh, east end of Orient Point, owned by the federal government. And it's 840 acres, and it's for sale. The federal government is trying to sell it. Uh, make, they hope to make a profit from it. And uh, at the moment, they are looking to use the proceeds to build a new office building in Washington, D.C. Originally, they thought they needed the funds to build a new um, facility. Uh, this is the present facility on Plum Island where the um, Plum Island Animal Disease Center is. They thought they would sell the island and this facility to build this facility in Manhattan, Kansas. Um, in the interim, the money has been found for this. It's under construction. John Turner can attest to it. He's been there. He saw the the cranes and the uh, building happening. Um, so we no longer need the money to build the new facility. There were additional appropriations for that. But the sale is still on. And if you went to the General Services Administration website, you would find that it is still for sale. Although the heavy, heavy duty marketing for it is pretty much subsided. However, um, this, the workers in this facility, the present day facility, are getting ready to move to Manhattan, Kansas in somewhere between two and four, four years from now. But we all uh, love this island because of its incredible diversity. 24% uh, of all the bird species in North America can be find, found at one time or another on those 840 acres. I mean, think about that. All this, all the, 24 percent of all bird species north of Mexico, on 840 acres. That's a special place. Um, there are 13 birds of co uh, conservation concern, 13 species breeding there. It's an amazing seal haul-out area. Uh, the Riverhead Foundation a few winters ago found. 900 seals there on one winter's day when they flew over. It is the largest seal haul out in New York and one of the largest in southern New England. Uh, there's 23 plant species of conservation concern. 33 ecological communities uh, on 840 acres five of them considered to be of conservation concern. And um, here's one, intertidal, uh, rocky intertidal shore. It also has uh, an amazing 96 acre freshwater wetland, incredibly important resource on an island surrounded by salt water. So I don't have to convince anybody in this room, I don't think, about how important Plum Island is uh, for our natural resources, but it's for sale, and it's for sale to the highest bidder, and I think we know that the highest bidder is going to be a developer. So the town of Southhold um, listened to the Preserve Plum Island Coalition, and they zoned the island in a way that uh, would foster our desires, our general desires for the island, where you would reuse the laboratory, which is about 20% of the island, and 
uh, have conservation on the other 80% of the island. But we don't have a lot of faith in the long-term holding pattern in zoning. We all live on Long Island and we know how zoning can change. So um, we need a better fix. We need a better way to protect Plum Island. And uh, we we're happy that South Hold did what they did, but we need to do more. So the Preserve Plum Island Coalition is alive and well. We do need a new logo. If anybody is in the room who knows a good artist, uh, please contact me. Um, <laughs> but our great coalition, and many of you are in the coalition, either as individual advocates or your organizations are in the coalition. So the rest of what I'm gonna tell you today is really about your work in the last year. Many of you came with us and the Long Island Sound um, Citizens Advisory Committee to Washington last fall. We met with um, our representatives in the House and with uh, the staff of our senators. Um, and there are two bills that are under consideration. I can go into detail, but I don't want to give you a federal headache. We have enough federal headaches going on right now. So um, you, I think I don't have to tell you that things don't move well in Washington right now, especially in the area of conservation. So the Preserve Plum Island Coalition Steering Committee, which by the way meets monthly and has since, I don't know, 2011, I think, or 12, a great group of people, um, we've decided that we're going to try to get New York State more involved. And I know I said that to you last year, and many of you here filled out postcards to Governor Cuomo, and we're very grateful for that. I also told you last year that we needed to meet with his executive staff. I'd like to tell you that we were very successful in doing that, and we finally got to meet with his top environmental staff. These are people in the executive chamber, so they're sort of above the agency level. We met with them last December. They were very excited to learn about Plum Island, and um, they'd heard about it, but they didn't know all the details. They liked some of our ideas, and they indicated to us that the governor, governor would probably be very interested in some of the things we had to say. And the first thing they did was the first thing on our list, they gave us a chance to meet with the new Deputy Secretary of State in the Department of State, Keisha Santiago Martinez. We had a very good meeting with her just last month. And we brought up to her the parallels between how Governor's Island was saved you know, a piece of real estate, probably one of the most valuable pieces of real estate on the planet off the tip of Manhattan, how that island was saved through New York State's actions. Couldn't we do the same at the other end of Long Island for another reason? They were very interested. So we made some progress there and we're gonna be talking some more um, with the governor's people soon. But we've also been getting the word out about, to everybody, uh, um, hoping that our coalition can grow and more pressure can be put on New York to help us out. So people are taking trips to Plum Island Animal Disease Center and going to Plum Island, and many of you have gone or have told me in the last couple of days that you're planning a trip or you'd like to plan a trip for your group. It's a great experience, highly recommend it. Um, it's just Amazing, um, this is some geologists that went, thanks Brett uh, for your photograph, I believe this is yours. Um, you get to go not only at the, to the Animal Disease Center and learn about the work they do there, but they let you take you on a bus around the island and you get to see all the habitats and how glorious it all is, and you will see seals. Or you can go on a Cressley tour like I did last Sunday. Uh, it was amazing. They, there's a tour leaving from Montauk on uh, April 21st. So you can see Artie Kopelman about that or go to Cressley.org and join us. I'll be going again. It goes to Plum Island, Great Gull Island, and Little Gull Island. And the seals were swarming the shorelines of those islands. It was 
amazing. So thank you very much, Artie, for this picture, which came to me at 5 o'clock this morning. And you can fill out a postcard. This goes directly to the governor. Uh, we've gotten out about 1,200 communications to the governor, thanks to you. You have um, written letters. You have gone to preserveplumisland.org and tapped the button to send a letter. Thank you very much. You've filled out postcards. And you quite possibly have written your own letters. Um, this is making a difference. People are hearing about Plum Island, and that's exactly what we need to move our agenda forward. We need each of you as individuals, and we need your groups. So thank you for that. So we have this gorgeous island. We're trying to get New York involved. We're getting closer. But when we were in Washington, and even talking to some of the agency people here in New York, the same question kept coming up. OK, you want research on 20% of the island. You want some kind of conservation on 80% of the island. And what does that mean? What is that going to look like? How do we do that? Who are we going to attract? How are we going to get people to do this? And especially the folks in Washington who are considering our request to repeal the original legislation um, that says, you know, don't, that, that called for the sale of Plum Island. They were very curious about what we would like to see there. Should the federal government hold on to the island? And New York is interested in what we would like to see there if New York gets the island. So we realized we have to bite the bullet. We're going to have to engage in a visioning process. We're going to have to have a clearer vision of what we need. It's got to look better than the zoning districts. It's a wonderful thing, but it's not a vision. So we are embarking on that this year. Save the Sound and the Nature Conservancy together are um, leading in this effort uh, with the rest of our coalition steering committee involved and hopefully some of you. Um, we're hoping to come up with a plan for the transfer of the island, if that can be done, the reuse of the island, and ultimately the conservation of the island. We think if we can be more specific, we're going to get more buy-in on, on this. So we will be, um, we are now working on the timeline of the process. Uh, we're, we're trying to figure out which experts to talk to, who are the stakeholders. This, we're, this is very much in the initial stages right now. Um, but I imagine it's going to involve some of you. And I'm hoping that we will have a formal process for the Preserve Plum Island Coalition membership to be involved. Before I get off, I want to tell you about the Preserve Plum Island membership. We now have 103 organizations in the Preserve Plum Island Coalition, which is pretty remarkable, up from 65 organizations about a year and a half ago. And before we went down to Washington and we were getting on the bus, someone said, well, how many people is that really? That must be a lot of people. So, you know, the typical back of the envelope calculation was done. Someone uh, took the top six organizations in the coalition, you know, in terms of membership, like the Nature Conservancy, Audubon New York, and so forth, um, Citizens Campaign. And we came up with uh, somewhere between three and six million people are now members of the Preserve Plum Island Coalition. So it's, it's fairly unanimous, <laughs> I would say, uh, at least on Long Island and in Connecticut, that we would like to save this island. And we're not there yet. Um, but thanks to gatherings like this, where all of you can, can listen and spread the word, um, thanks to gatherings like this, like last year when I was in the lobby standing by our display and a gentleman came up to me, this is, gr this is great networking by the way, and he said, you know, I think your website's pretty lousy, but I think I can help. 
And um, he redid the website for us, and it was done by, I think, May. Uh, it's easy to use now. It looks better. Thank you very much, Michael Strong. Um, it, if you go there, you can click a button and send a letter to Governor Cuomo. If you keep checking back, we'll have other things for you to do. If you have a cell phone with you right now and you'd like to send a text to 42828 you can, and type in the word environment, you can be on Save the Sounds um, Action Network email list and we will keep you involved. So we are trying the best we can to get all of you involved as often as possible. I'm still uh, doing the road shows, so if you have an organization that needs a talk one night or one Saturday afternoon, please contact me. I'd be happy to come and talk to your membership about Plum Island. So we're still trying to grow the movement. Um, but that's the update. That's where we are today. Uh, Plum Island is still for sale, and we still need all of you engaged in trying to help prevent that and uh, give it a better future. Thank you.